Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this uh, video tip uh, from Maverick Solutions. Uh, today we're going to discuss uh, something called 3D XML. Uh, it's not a widely known format, uh, especially for Katia, but uh, it can be a very useful one for those who are looking for a cheap alternative to um, owning a Katia, especially when they just have to view a file that uh, was created in uh, Katia v5. Uh, so we start by simply opening a uh, model, a simple 3D model. Now they tell us that this uh, hole here should change in size, so we simply have to go in and modify that size, and uh, we do that by double-clicking on the model uh, on the original hole size, and uh, we change that down to, let's say, 3 millimeters, we hit OK, uh, it updates instantly, and as you can see the pattern also updates. So. I'd like to actually go ahead and switch to what we call functional tolerancing and annotation. Now typically um, this uh, particular workbench handles your GD&T and uh, it allows you to uh, simply display that on the screen. Now for uh, this pur the purpose of the demo what we're going to do is just put a simple dimension onto our model and uh, we're going to be able to um, export that to a format that is visible by other people or by people that don't have access to Katia. As you know, STEP and IGES is a great exchange format, but it doesn't give the ability to exchange these types of notes. Uh, so what we're going to do simply is uh, click on dimension and we're going to just uh, go in and uh, click on that dimension here. As you can see, it dimensions that for us. So it's a three millimeter hole. Uh, typically, like we said, in step or IGES situations, you do not see that dimension, but now we're going to prove that we're able to take that into a different format and make it visible uh, to other users. So, uh, if I go um, into File, Save As, scroll down to find uh, 3D XML, and I'm going to save that somewhere on my computer. Let's just say um, 3D Content is the folder that I want to save it. I'm going to go ahead and save that and exports my file for me. So I'd like to go and view that file. So we're going to open our Windows Explorer. I'm going to access our documents here and uh, go ahead and look for that file that we just built. I'm going to simply double click on it and uh, in a few seconds you're going to see that file open up. Now not only does it open up the file but as you can see it actually drops that dimension on that particular hole, which is something we couldn't see or something that's not possible with uh, STEP or IGES. Uh, and as you can see, it's a very simplified viewer. It allows you to pan, uh, zoom, rotate, uh, even change the method method of displaying the model so you can look at it from all different angles and, and such. Uh, even the rendering styles can be modified so I can eliminate the edges, uh, look at a hidden view mode, even look at it uh, with material rendering if that's possible, and so on. Um, you know, and uh, we're able to also hide show certain things if we don't want to sh show them. And also the tree is possible. So I can hide show my tree and you can basically toggle between um, sort of a thumbnail view as opposed to just a tree with a breakdown. And as you can see this is the uh, entire tree set that we are looking at. The uh, in complete annotation set listed in my tree. Now you're probably wondering how do I ac get access to that. Well it's actually fairly simple. Let's go into Google and type 3D XML Viewer. And the one you're looking for is from 3DS or Dassault Systems. Click on that and scroll down to download either a 32 or a 64 bit version. Uh, speaking of that, uh, it actually works well with Windows 7 32 bit and XP uh, 64 bit. I've tested it on both of those. However, on uh, Windows 7 64 bit, it did not really work well. So uh, that could be something that uh, you guys have to look at and consider, uh, um, you know, upgrading or kind of updating your service packs and such. But it, it does have support for that theoretically, except with Windows 7 64-bit, it did not work very well. So that might be something you want to look at. Uh, the best part of this is that this viewer is free, so there's no charge for it. You can download it and be able to gain access to it fully. Uh, so. The other thing that we uh, wanted to do here, uh, aside from creating that model and exporting it and making it available, um, and of course it's worth mentioning that the file size is, is very, very small. It's only 205K, so that 
definitely is a great exchange format for those who don't have access to Katia. Um, what we also can do is go into the start menu and uh, just launch Microsoft Office or Word. What's interesting is that not only can I create 3D XML files and view them in the viewer, but I can also bring them into uh, a Microsoft Office document, whether it's Word or PowerPoint, and use it for that purpose. So uh, let me simply bring in a sample file that I've grabbed uh, from the internet once. It's a McLaren F1. Uh, it's just a simple car, 3D model of a car. So I'm going to grab that and drag it over to my session here, my Word session, and just drag it and drop it. It's going to bring in that file as an object. All you have to do to activate it is double click on it. So now we've uh, activated that uh, particular area. So I'm going to What's nice is that you can actually rotate it into here and simply switch over to a fully rendered mode if you like and uh, simply uh, double click outside and that builds that particular file or that particular 3D XML file. I can actually copy that particular object also and click here and paste it again. Let me just change my margins a bit. And what's nice is that you, because this is live, I can double click on it. Because we can double click on it now, we can rotate that model around like so. And once you click away from it, it's actually going to save that particular picture. This beats having to create snapshots of, of items and then having to delete them and start over. This is live. You can double click on it and choose any kind of angle that you like and be able to display that. Uh, to your customer or to any who are interested in uh, looking at this uh, particular model. So I hope this tip has helped you in uh, uh, understanding how 3D XML works and how we can fully explore it. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know and uh, we'll be more than glad to answer any of your uh, CAD related questions. Thank you.